drama update. I haven't done a drama video in like fucking forever. Um, so let's see to start. Uh, I just watched Jason with a D's video about the update about his daughter Ariel and it sent me into a very dark place because a very similar circumstance happened with uh, my sister when she died almost four years ago to this day um, so yeah uh, what happened with my sister oh and nobody send this video to Jason with a D because of what I'm gonna say I don't want him to hear so just I won't even put his name in the title but uh, my sister uh, had her cancer spread she had lymphoma and it, and it started uh, to spread to other sorts of cancer she, it went to her spleen and we were like oh well you can live without a spleen it went to her pancreas we're like oh well you can live without a pancreas you know and then it went to her spine and that was a bad sign because we had been told repeatedly that as long as it's kept out of the spinal cord and the brain there's this blood-brain barrier that lymphoma and leukemia won't pass through so it doesn't normally spread there it has to turn into another cancer before it can turn into brain cancer and spinal cancer and it did and um, just like Ariel one of my sister's legs quit working towards the end and this was um, about a month and a half before she died and another sign that uh, she had brain cancer that it, it wasn't just in her spine it, turned into brain cancer uh, was her eyes would flutter in this really strange way um, I can't even um, simulate how her eyes would move but if you can imagine just like that every time she would try to look up as, at a certain angle or uh, straight ahead at a, in this certain way her eye would just start to jiggle and she wouldn't notice it. Um, she started to lose uh, her entire side of her body from it was it was just not working so we knew that the cancer was on the left side of the brain because the right side of her body was not working properly and I remember one time in particular where she was uh, very much doped up um, about two days before she died she was basically wanting to leave the hospice because it wasn't home and we'd all been there for days but uh, yeah One of the things she did to try to get out of bed was she was throwing her leg with her good hand. She would throw her leg over the rail on the side of the hospital bed, and we would have to put it back. And she would just keep looking at my sister, Diane, saying, Come on, let's go. I'll drive. <laughs> you know? <laughs> We'd laugh. Because there was no way she could drive, but she she just didn't have it in her to be able to understand that she was going to die there you know by that time she was just that far gone and loopy from medication um, so yeah I don't feel very good about um, Jason's daughter's prognosis so no one please no one send this video to him he's not a subscriber of mine I'm a subscriber of his so <sighs> yeah this is uh, the fourth year 
where we are, are celebrating debuary in my family. Right now my stepmother cannot be found. She is probably in her bed underneath an electric blanket and won't come out till March because debuary is here. And we try we try to move on, but you know, my sister's birthday and her death day were both in this month and yeah, so that's that. Uh, next, I'll say Inventor Gorilla made a very strange video response to me. I watched all 15 minutes of it. It was mostly me uh, talking to myself, watching, <laughs> because he just played his guitar in between at different points. And I wondered if, if the stylings had anything to do with his feelings towards those points in the video, or maybe it was just random. Maybe he played the guitar a whole bunch and then just c cut it in however. But at the end, he said that uh, what he learned in his time on YouTube was not a failure and that a whole bunch of people had followed him and they're good friends and they're going to be lifelong friends. And that's all fine and dandy, but once again, we are talking past each other. <laughs> and he doesn't seem to understand that there was a huge point that he's missed. And I would say it has to do with the cyclical nature of his video making um, that a lot of people have t tried to talk to me about and I just I'm tired of talking about it <laughs> but uh, I don't know you teach someone something and you teach them why it is that way and then they forget about it and then they make videos again and then you have to teach them again and after a while, it just seems like, you know, it, you just have to get used to the cycle, you know. People will fight their hardest to be able to keep a lot of their strange beliefs. Um, and when one argument doesn't work they they will gravitate toward the towards the next argument and the next one and the next one and then finally something happens and they're back on the first argument again you know like maybe they didn't try it hard enough the first time or the second time or the third time and i think uh it is a tragedy that inventor gorilla hasn't uh re-uploaded all of his videos for people to see or unprivated his, all the videos that he has because you can really see the cyclical nature in what he learns and forgets and I, I know there's certain videos that I have but I'm not going to re-upload them for him um, he doesn't want to be on YouTube anymore, and that's all right. There's plenty of other uh, people we can learn from. So, the next one. The Phantom Lion has failed me. Um, the Phantom Lion said that he could... Uh, talk to Aldous Valor and try to calm him down about me and maybe I would be able to go to Pennsylvania for Aldous Valor's birthday. And now I just saw a video from Aldous Valor that the Phantom Lion sent right to me. And, uh, yeah, quite the opposite. I am the only person not invited to the birthday party, so I don't get any cake. And, um, it wasn't even this bad before. And, yeah, don't send anyone to, uh, do anything for you. That's the lesson that I already knew, but I just relearned. Yeah. If you need to talk to someone, talk to them yourself, I guess. So, now I am ultra shit-listed. 
dead or something. Okay. I, I had a hard time following all that was wrong about everything that I've done. Um, and I'm, I'm really glad that my video records of it all are still up on my channels. And I can go back and look at everything and say, Hmm, is that really how it was? You know, because there's a lot of revisionist history that goes on in people's lives. I know that I look at things a little bit differently than I probably did when I was right there in the moment. But, I don't know. I just, once again, had an entire tirade of, you know, different things that I have done in the course of my YouTube uh, stay read back to me. Like, over years worth of stuff. Just like Inventor Gorilla did. So, yeah. I've, I've heard that from other people as well, and, you know, I don't know. At least uh, Aldous Valor isn't a Christian, so I don't have to, like, lecture him on the fundamental Christian values of forgiveness and redemption, because it, it actually isn't ironic. It, it's, it's okay that he doesn't uh, forgive or forgive things that he's unshitlisted you for before. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a suspended sentence in, in the U.S. court system where like sometimes people uh, are let off for something um, or they're found... Uh, what's the word? The charges are dropped with prejudice. That's what I'm looking for. Where... If, if they fuck up again, the old charges come back. You know, so. <sighs> Anyways. Um, Rogie Riverstone um, has said that uh, she wanted to put together something for Jason and uh, his kid little love gift or something so um, I'll leave a link in the description box to her channel so that everyone can send her a PM and maybe get together to do something for Jason um, and again please like <laughs> I'm talking about a different case and every case is different and I really uh, would want people to not kill anyone's hopes by what happened in the cases that I have had to live through because I've had a lot of deaths in my family um, in the last decade and a lot of those deaths were to cancer so <sighs> I'm about to face another one too uh, maybe some of you saw that video where I told you all that one of my friends now has his cancer is spread from uh, colon cancer and he's back up in Wisconsin and I might have to make a trip to go see him because he might not make it to next year so yeah cancer sucks can we all just say fuck cancer Fuck cancer.